All right, welcome back, everybody, on this lovely Tuesday. Having a nice little run with this OPTT and a couple other ones, staff and AMD. We're going to check them out in a little bit. How's everybody doing this morning? Randy, good to see you. Way to go, buddy. How do you see you? Phil, good to see you. Good morning. Grant, Norman, Jose, good to see you. Staff C2, and welcome, everybody, from YouTube, Facebook Live. Welcome back. We're only seven days before the election, and it looks like the chaos already started. We saw a big market crash yesterday. Listen. I knew that was going to happen. How did you not expect? I mean, listen, we're a week away from election. You really think Congress is really going to pass a stimulus package? What is one week going to make a difference, right? But um, listen, and that was the beauty part of it. They thought they were going to pass. We got a big rally. They didn't want to pass. So now it's coming down. So we know what the true facts are. Now we just got to see what's going to happen in the next seven days. We already saw a riot already happen in um, Philadelphia. I think uh, 30 cops got, already got hurt uh, due to a shooting. So, um, you know what? A lot of that could affect the stock market. So, you know, different things uh, will make certain stocks move. You heard about the coronavirus. I mean, about regarding about some of them already have vaccines already ready to go. Some of them already saying that some are going to be making a uh, an introduced to the market. We're going to look at those. And also remember, the biggest thing you got to focus on is that what happens next week, you need to focus on certain industries are going to get crushed and certain industries are going to take off. Okay. And as we see them, we'll come and share them with you. But anyway, that OPTT is doing great. Um, news, obviously, you could see was the nine o'clock hour stock literally. Let me just, let me fix the screen here for some of you here. Uh, you could see right here the stock literally went from two dollars already to two forty. Nice pop right at nine a.m. Um, nice little winner uh, right here on level four, actually level three. You could see there's some pretty big iceberg orders, 10,000, 14,000. That really didn't really impress me that much. Um, I was looking over here on level four. And when I was looking at it, we, we had a couple of iceberg orders that came in a little bit late around three, uh, 230, right there, 240 right there. It's testing it. It looks like the guy got executed a little bit. It looks like it's consolidating. So it looks like it's going to probably break out. All right. By the way, hopefully everybody here who was here at the Cyber Expo last week we had a book map here and uh, they went through a really good demonstration on it. If you do miss it, subscribe to us, our, our YouTube channel, and we'll make sure you get those videos and you can watch them on your, uh, you know, you get to watch them because listen, that's how we trade. We just follow the money. Anyway, a couple other stocks I'm going to talk about, but before we do that, uh, just want to remind everybody, a lot of big things going on today. We have phase three live trading with Fausto today. So all gold platinum students, remember at, right after the market opens up, we have class. So do make sure you're there. And then also traders talk today. You don't want to miss that at 11. Another very big event where we share for the uh, for the staff, uh, for all the cyber group members, everyone here. And if you want to get in here at, at YouTube and Facebook, just click on the bottom and register and we'll get you in there. Uh, a nice, great hour uh, training session regarding about stocks that uh, and students, how they trade and how, and how things worked out. By the way, the OPTT did exactly what I told you to do. Why is that? Sellers got done. Anyway. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. I'm going to go back to the watch list. First of all, I want to start off with DSS. So DSS, listen, everybody's talking about like, oh, the, you know, you should have shorted. Yesterday was actually a very good short day. But there were a couple of stocks that did make some moves. DSS was nice. Went from 5 to 750. Stock took a really major hit in the past several months. Up as high as 13. Went down to 4. Made a little bit of comeback. It was fun. Had a couple of little shakes. I would be careful. Honestly, and it also was a category 3 or 4. It was not a very easy stock to trade. So, you know, once again, don't let the inexpensive $6 stock fool you. Because they do move and they can get pretty volatile. Uh, another stock, JMIA, um, hit, it, news came out, uh, it was a Citroen uh, research, said that it will be a $100 stock. Well, worked so good for so long, but you could see on a swing trade, the uh, stock has been great. Went from 8 to about almost 20, then it backed off. But the uh, stock has been a fun day trading stock, but better a swing trading stocks. Now, remember, I always say this. Want to be a good swing trader? Want to be a good options trader? you damn well better learn how to day trade first. If you can't win on a day trade, you're going to blow up your swing trades. Everybody says that. We always have people that say, well, I try to swing trade 
you know, it's not really working. I'm making money. I'm, I'm, I'm counting my chickens before they hatch and then they all die. And then I'm starting all over again and I didn't go anywhere. That's why you got to learn how to day trade first. That's why you got to get into our cyber group room. You got to get into class today and you got to be there, but you got to know how to play the game. A couple of the stocks I want to talk about, uh, SCKT was also a really nice run up in the afternoon. That stock, you could see it, great move, 220 all the way to 290. That one did pretty good. And then a lot, everything just basically tanked. Um, I sold my snap, I told you that in class, you know, in the trading room. I got out right around, well, you know, once the stock started breaking this low, there was a major support levels right around 42.50. I got out of 42, okay? And uh, listen, I, you know, people are like, why did you sell it? Those good. Listen, you can always buy it back cheaper. I don't know why people don't get it, right? I say it all the time. Same thing, I, I sold Pinterest, okay? I love Pinterest, okay? I just want to buy it back cheaper. That's all. I just want to buy it back cheaper. Why would I hold a stock in a market crash? You know how many people right now wish they still uh, sold their stocks yesterday, like around 10 o'clock? But they just woke up to more this morning. Why? Because you don't know how to day trade. You have to learn what's happening over the course of the day to do pretty well. Listen, you could always buy it back cheaper. That's why they call it trading. Okay. Um, so that one did pretty well. And everything else basically, uh, Neo came down. I mean, everything was like a short. Airlines came down. Um, this stock, we've been having a really good swing trade with this one. Just got to be careful when the stock fills in the gap. You're in uncharted territories. Always be uh, careful of that. Yeah, Delta. All of them took uh, took a little bit of a took a little bit of a hit yesterday. But we're up. We're all about 24 points right now. So listen, if we hover in this election, you know, going into the next week, you know, I, I don't see it going away from from 27 to 28.50. Okay, unless some sporadic news comes out, which you know, you, you hear President Trump talking about that. You know, when the GDP numbers come out next week, it could be a pretty big news. So we'll see. But I don't know. You shouldn't be saying that. This is not inside information. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be talking about that, um, you know, if you know something uh, out there. But we'll see how those numbers come out. But um, but anyway, let's go through the watch list because there are a couple of stocks here that I want to keep an eye on. First of all, AMD was great. This morning, a lot of you guys made a lot of money on this stock in pre-market. You could see it was just an animal. It started around 8 o'clock. It ran from $82 all the way to $85. This is the problem. This is where people blow up their accounts. Look at that major resistance level. For several minutes, it never wanted to hit $85. It just kept testing there and kept testing there and kept testing there and kept testing there. Uh, it just didn't want to break it. And what happened, there was a big, big iceberg order out there. And then all of a sudden, they started coming in and started pushing it down. So, uh, and it's right back where we left off. So, yeah, it was an animal in pre-market. It was great. Um, I know some of you guys did really well on it. You didn't have to kill it. But like you hear me say all the time, you can't get, you can't go broke taking profits. By the way, Jerry, you made about a buck, uh, almost two bucks on Hog. Congratulations. You know what? I was actually going to bring up Hog. Hog is actually on my watch list. I actually own a Hog. Okay, Hog is obviously is uh, a Harley Davidson. I have a fat boy, by the way. Uh, uh, regarding, we'll look at it right now. Let's look at Hog, right? Why not? Right? Let's check it out. Hog. Okay, so Hog. I mean, listen, I, I don't know what the you know other you know it, it it doesn't look the greatest in pre market, but you could see the stock. I closed at twenty nine. It's at 32. It looks like it's testing some resistance right where it should be right there. And uh, do I have the level? See, the problem is that there's a big seller right here, 5,000. A couple of sellers here, 100, 300. That's a pretty substantial buyer, which makes sense why it's not getting past that number. But if that guy gets taken out, the stock will tank, okay? But way to go, JJ. That's the way to do it, all right? All right, another couple of stocks I want to bring up that are pretty good that we did well this morning. Staff. F also was a great pre-market. Stock did great. Went from a buck thirty to a buck eighty. We traded this a couple of days ago. Stock went from a buck to about almost four dollars a share in one day. What was it? It was a great short squeeze. But you know what? Party's over. It was nice. Now we're gonna check back on it later. Put it on uh, on the beat on the beat on the B list. Okay, remember the wedding list, the B list. 
Uh, SIGI also up about 47%. You know, we traded this stock so many times. It, you could see it. It ran from like 90 cents to about a buck 70, came back to 80 cents. You know, listen, you learned this from experience. Don't get greedy and cocky with this stock. You could trade a lot of shares of it. It's an algorithm stock. You could tell by looking at level three on the right. Just don't get too crazy on it, but it is going to be a nice, fun algo stock. SPI, one of our favorite stocks that we did so much, we made so much money on. In one day, the stock went from five to 45. I haven't seen this in like, this is, has to be one of the top five uh, of the best day trading stocks that we traded of the year of 2020. Stock, I mean, that, that was just phenomenal. Anyway, guys, we know the stock is a crazy stock. It's, it, it's starting to trend down. It's gapping up. Remember Kodak? Just be very, very careful with this stock, all right? We, you don't want to give back what we already did. And I listen, I learned a lesson myself. I remember Dryers, uh, D-R-Y-S? I mean, I'd done very well with that, that shipping stock. Made a killing on it. But somehow it always suckered me in. Always suckered me in. And I was starting to give little by little by little. And eventually, you know, I just deleted it from my watch list. Um, but you don't want to give money back. So listen, I make mistakes too. But you learn from your mistakes. Mistakes are good. That's why you come to Cybertrain University. You don't, you're not here to learn how to make money. You're here to stop learning how to stop losing it. And the best way you learn is losing, learning from other people that lost it before you figured out on your own. Another stock that's up about 64, down 64%. Sorry. This stock got destroyed. What do we, by the way, this stock right here, what is it? It's a pharmaceutical stock. What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks? They don't come back. Okay. Remember I told you about the movie about the planet of the apes, the, 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 the first one, not the old one, the first one, go watch that movie. You want to learn about pharmaceuticals companies. You want to know how much money they make. You want to know what happens when a drug blows up in their face. Watch that movie. Even though it is a great movie. Um, but that one, I always bring that up because the only way I can kind of share my thoughts on how to relate how a pharmaceutical stock, when it loses FDA approval, how things don't work out. Uh, now, regarding about this one right here, Sun W, another stock. We've done very well with Sun W. Stock went from a dollar to eight dollars. She got tanked. She was another great short squeeze, but she's starting to trend down. You know what I mean? She looked good this morning at eight o'clock when she was at uh, three ten. Now she had three bucks. But guess what? She's not down that much. She's not. It's not like you know AMD, where it went from like eighty two to eighty five, back down to eighty two. So you know. She's, she's hovering there. I'm going to keep a close eye on it. We've made a lot of money with this stock. Now, a couple of those, uh, one more last stock I want to bring up that just kind of died because I'm hearing, uh, and then all of a sudden she just woke up out of nowhere, which is G-O-E-D. So this one right here, I thought it was dead up 100%. All of a sudden she came from nowhere. Look, she just took off at nine o'clock this morning, 12 to 14. So this one, she's looking pretty damn good. She is an IPO. She just came out not too long ago, less than a month ago. You can see it there on the long-term chart. But remember, this is not your typical, you know, um, stock that you put in your portfolio uh, as in a, you know, an easy stock to trade. The stock is a pretty volatile stock. Okay, you can see it right there, just reading the spread. Remember, we always going to teach you, and we cover this in phase one. Remember, you have to learn the three T's. Tradable, trend, and trap. Okay, if the stock is not tradable, you could just forget about all other all the other two T's. And what that means is that you can get in and out without getting hurt, risking with a very tight spread. Anyway, look how great that beautiful one's going up. Thank you very much. I knew that was on the list. Uh, any other stocks? Joan says, well, you could just check out Mara. You know what? I had Mara on my list. Um, and then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. She looked like she was moving and then she's kind of flat right now. But I'll put it on the B team, the B list. All right. Put it on the, the B list. All right, guys. Listen, we got about 15 minutes before the market opens up. Actually, 14 minutes. I'm going to get ready for class for all of you gold and platinum students. I'll see you in the next 15 minutes. If, um, for everybody here in the cyber group room and trial members, hopefully you're having a great day. You know, you, you're enjoying the room. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you see something, say something. And if you're watching us on YouTube, Facebook Live, and you want to come and join us, just click on the bottom, like us, join us, and uh, come, come to the original day trading room, and let's show you what it's all about.
Guys, we'll see you back here at 11 and we'll see you back at 2.30, all right? Back on YouTube, everyone else. I'll see you all in class. Happy trading, everyone, and be safe.